Okay, hello everybody. Um, welcome uh, my regular subscribers and my YouTube followers. I have a 3M N95 mask and uh, I was just wondering what's inside it that makes it so different than those hospital masks that they uh, have um, that everybody is wearing that doesn't protect them as much as this N95 does. But uh, let's cut it open. What my idea is that I wanted to cut it open and see what's in what's in the uh, the layers. You know what I mean? And um, see what uh, how many layers are there? What's inside? Uh, I haven't seen anybody do it yet, but uh, uh, we'll we'll find this out. So here I have one of my older uh mask that i've been wearing and i was ready to throw it out but i was like saying let me see what's inside it that makes it so valuable um because of the coronavirus and the uh the covid19 scare so um here's a regular mask i already cut it open i just want to see what's inside but then i said let me make a video and see <laughs> and show it to everybody else so that's the back. I wore this for 14 days, so uh, it has to be trash now. So, what you have in this mask on the inside, you have a little valve. I have a pair of scissors, and in the valve, when you breathe out, actually, it's this way. Let's see that front valve when you breathe out there's a little flap in there it goes forward let your air out but then when the flap comes in and you're breathing in that flap slams shut because of the suction and air that you're breathing in goes through the outside of the mask gets filtered by the time it comes to you on this side, it's filtered air. Okay. So, um, and then the other thing is the tightness around your face. It has to be snug. So no other, um, the particles or uh, virus can't get around it because it's tight against your, your face like that. I mean, and these are pretty tight. The, um, the bands go around your head and really snug around your face. I tell you one thing, I got marks on my face, like indents, because of the, uh, that's how snug it is. Because this one goes on top of your head. This one goes on the bottom of your, your back of your neck. So, okay. Just to see what's on the inside. So I, I did cut it. I use a pair of scissors and I just went along, cut that portion out of it. And that was the piece there. Or I went that way. Well, anyway, so I cut it and I was counting the layers. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, one pretty like rough uh, outer part. And then. can see that then you got another very thin layer um, and then you got that looks like they can catch like bigger particles I guess and then you got a little tinier layers it comes like a cotton in here okay then you got another layer here it's not the, like cottony leather but it's very fibrous but it doesn't break apart. It's like kind of intermingled. It's hard hard for a particle to get through that. Even smaller minute particles probably get through that. Won't get through that. And then last but not least, you got another mesh on the back. See how thin it is? But I guess that's what makes it the N95. It actually uh, filters out 95% of um, all particles 
you know? So that's that's what's in a N95 mask. I mean, there's a and there's a P100, but uh, I don't have the P100. See, I think this very um, it's tough. This outer part, it's a tough piece. Even or even around, even around the um, this portion, it's it's a little bit it's really a, a tough mask. I'll just cut around here and see what's under here. Yeah, see the layers that makes it tough for the uh, any kind of viruses or particles to get through. And there, especially with this, once the door slams shut, the air is forced to go through the filtering system. All right, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the bottom down there so I can make more videos. See you.